Today we're going to take a quick look at Passengers, directed by Morton Tildum and starring Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. So in this film, a ship called the Avalon is taking 5,000 humans to Homestead 2, which is a new Earth of sorts, and two of these passengers, Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence, wake up way earlier than they need to, and they have to figure out a way to get back to sleep so that they can actually be able to live a life on this new Earth. Overall, I was actually kind of interested in the film. I thought the trailers looked really cool. I really liked uh, the concept and I really like films that are kind of isolation films, like sci-fi films that are kind of where it's just two characters by themselves and they're stuck in space and they haven't got any help. But unfortunately, overall, I found the film to be disappointingly bland and a bit boring, to be honest. Now, there are good things about the film. I mean, Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, they're both good actors, and they're as good as they always are. Uh, Michael Sheen is in the film as well, playing this sort of bartender guy. I mean, you've all seen him in the trailer, like the robot at the bar who kind of swivels around. He was actually a lot of fun, and he actually had a lot of funny moments in the film. I thought the design of the spaceship actually looked quite cool. You know how it's got the rotating... Uh, panels on the outside and it looks kind of like a corkscrew. It actually looked kind of interesting. I thought the visuals were very well done. Um, there's a really cool sequence where the ship loses gravity and it's in the trailers where Jennifer Lawrence is swimming through like the floating water that's lifting up out of a swimming pool. That was actually kind of cool to watch. However, the film has a lot of problems that generally do drag it down and the biggest problem for me is the story. I knew exactly where the whole film was going to go. Well, actually, there was one thing at the beginning that I wasn't expecting. But then after that had happened, I kind of knew where it was going to go. And it went where I thought it was going to. And it didn't really surprise me at all. I mean, from the trailer, it looks like there's going to be a lot of like twists and turns and like things happening in the story that you're not going to expect. But really, if you saw the trailer, you're basically going to get what it shows you. There's nothing really that surprising. Also, pretty much every poster for the film that I've seen has had the tagline, there is a reason they woke up. But then when you find out why they woke up, it's just kind of glossed over and shoved to the side until the very end where they just do like a really rushed explanation of it. And... It just kind of took away the whole, like, anticipation factor that I had for the film. In terms of things that aren't surprising, there's actually an absurd amount of references to other films that are kind of based around space isolation. You know, things like Alien, Gravity, 2001 A Space Odyssey, uh, Moon, there was a reference to that as well. Uh, Interstellar, <laughs> there was quite a few references to that, and nothing really felt new about it. It was just... A lot of references to things that we've already seen and things that's already been done before and nothing felt original about it really. So overall I'm not gonna really recommend checking out Passengers. Uh, it's a really good looking movie with good performances but it has a lot of problems that drag it down and overall I honestly wouldn't bother seeing it. I mean if you thought it looked cool from the trailer Probably like it fine. I'm gonna give passengers a C plus. So I have one more movie review to do until we can just jump on ahead into 2017. So until then, take care.